viewers, uh, it's nice to have you on the program with us this afternoon. And we are still tuned to Inside TV. And I'm your usual, your usual host today. And my name remains Dr. Adeola Akoki Odadoi. Today we'll be on the health show treating a topic that has to do with nutrition in pregnancy and the early years of life. And um, I believe that you will be blessed by this, um, by this talk. And uh, I want you to feel free to write down any questions you have so that there will be a segment when you'll be able to discuss these concerns. Um, we all know that pregnancy and the early few years of life are very important uh, periods in the life of an individual and have to be um, taken very seriously. For instance, um, whenever a mother, a woman is, con is contemplating having a pregnancy, it's not at that point that she needs to start thinking of whether she has been eating well or, or not. Because about six months to the time the lady gets pregnant, six, year, six months to one year, she needs to have been planning to have a very good, to, to get pregnant in a very good nutritional state. Now we're talking about nutrition, and this has to do with the nutrients that we take in every day. The food we take in every day. We one can be said to have good nutrition or bad nutrition, depending on the kind of nutrients. And it's um, unfortunate with, our, uh, with modernization now. We know that there are so many, you know, fast foods all over the place. And many times, because of the pressure of work, it is, you know, one just runs into the, all this fast food to eat. But it's 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 unfortunate because most of these foods that we eat are very poor in nutrition. So, like I've been trying to say, anytime a woman is planning to get pregnant, you know, pregnancy must be well planned. So about six months to one year before the pregnancy, the woman needs to begin to work on her nutritional habits to ensure that at the time when she gets pregnant, the pregnancy will meet her in a good state of health and she'll be able to carry the baby with God's grace successfully and deliver a healthy child, herself remaining healthy. And so the kind of nutrients we expect for a woman who is contemplating having a baby is to be rich in vitamins, you know, fruits, vegetables. And we usually encourage that, you know, anything natural, yam, uh, livestock, meat, poultry, milk, are the kind of things that we need to in include in our day-to-day -day nutrition to ensure that by the time we get pregnant, we'll be able to go through that pregnancy stage successfully because it is also known that sometimes for some women when they get pregnant they cannot eat they cannot eat as much as they used to eat some for some women the first trimester they are not able to eat much so it depends on the store they've been able to build up before the pregnancy they'll be able to carry them through those periods so like i've been saying nutrition is very important particularly foods that are rich in folates and iron they are very important like i said fruits green leafy vegetables and um, liver, green plantains, these are good in iron. Because you know, while the woman is, when the, when the mother is getting pregnant, the folate vitamins are very important for the, the neural development of the baby. We're talking about the central nervous system now. There has to be enough folate and other nutrients in the nutrition of the mother to ensure that the child, when the child is born, the nervous system will be well developed. You know, sometimes we have children that are born with mental retardation, and some of it can be traced to poor nutrition in pregnancy. And also some babies are born with neural tube defects. I wish I could show you some of those pictures. You know, in those defects, you see that maybe, for instance, in the brain, it looks like there's a wound on the head or along the spinal cord, some parts of the spinal cord to be showing. That is because the mother, many times, was not, did not have very good nutrition. Particularly, she might have been low on folate. And that's why you know that many times when a woman is pregnant, part of the routine drugs we give is folic acid. And we also give iron supplements because the mother needs to have built up a good level of blood so that at the time of delivery, we might be able to reduce the incidence of having to have blood transfusions. The woman has a very good level of blood 
then at the time of delivery when she loses a bit of blood she'll be able to cope so we are not overemphasizing the importance of good nutrition on the program we need to eat well pregnant women need to eat well at the time of delivery there is a period we call the first 1,000 years of life, first 1,000 days of life. And this 1,000 days starts from the moment the baby is conceived till about two years of life. The nutri nutrition has to be on a very high level. And that is why we normally encourage mothers that at the time when the baby is born, we need to put to breast. We need to put to breast within the first hour of life. And usually when the mother has had a very good diet, a good balanced nutrition, the quality of the milk that is going to be produced would also be of a high quality and the child will do well. We know that many times when the woman, when the mother begins to breastfeed, the milk is not the normal color. It's a bit yellowish and we refer to that milk as colostrum. It is very high in nutrition, in nutrients that the child needs during the first few days of life. Gradually, after, over a few days, the fourth to fifth life, the milk now changes to the mature milk that we are more familiar with. Please, I want to encourage us. We know that there are so many taboos. We know that many mothers are encouraged to waste that first few days of milk because they say it can harm the baby. But please, this is not true. God has done it in such a way that these first few days of milk production, this yellowish color of milk is very important for the development of the child. Please don't waste it. Let your child start taking it as early as possible, preferably between the, within the first one hour of life. And when they're able to establish lactation, we call it lactation, when the breastfeeding starts, early enough, usually the mother will have enough for that baby. Many times there is problem with breastfeeding when the mother does not start early enough. By the time we are waiting till 24 hours before breastfeeding, there might be a problem in establishing good lactation. So mothers are encouraged to start breastfeeding as early as possible. Immediately when the baby is born, we see, excuse me, <coughs> usually when the baby is born, you see that in many films, the baby is put on the mother's chest to start breastfeeding immediately. This is good. It will also help to prevent jaundice because when the child begins to breastfeed and the, the gastrointestinal system begins to work on time very well, there is a possibility that as a child breastfeeds, all those substances that are accumulated in the body causing jaundice will be able to pass out in the urine and in the stool so that though many children have jaundice, it will not develop to the level that could be pathological. With that word and pathological, I mean the one that can affect the baby in life and cause mental retardation that we are aware of. So I want to encourage us once again that we need to start the breastfeeding. As soon as the baby is born, breastfeeding needs to start on time. And then, if you have a premature baby, we wouldn't say that because the baby is premature, we don't breastfeed. God has made the breast milk at that time also to be able to cope with the baby as soon as the baby is born. So breast milk is still the first thing that should be given to premature babies. Then as the child goes on, we know that we are advised to breastfeed exclusively for the first six months of life. The baby within that first six months of life does not even need water if the child is being breastfed because you know that more than 95% of breast milk is water. So you do not need to give additional water because mothers, when they give additional water when they are breastfeeding, the space that the breast milk should take up is what the water will take. And at the end of the day, the baby has not had enough nutrition, enough nutrients to allow the child to develop very well. So, Exclusive breastfeeding is a watchword for the first six months of life. And after six months, we now enter the stage where we want to win the baby. We want to win the baby and introduce complementary, complementary feeds that will allow the child to grow very well. Because at the age of six months, breast milk is not enough anymore. For that baby, he needs to have complementary feeds. We can add things like pap, fruit juice. And you know pap, we normally want to fortify it. We can fortify it ground gray fish, we can fortify with milk, we can fortify with raw egg, you know, you cook it together, and then the food is, is of a good nutritional standard that the baby can eat and develop uh, 
better because by the age of one year, this child should be able to take adult food. But the period between that six months and one year is very crucial. We need to introduce the child to complementary foods gradually. True, the child might not want to eat much the first day, might just take a small spoon, but you don't stop. You continue to give that child gradually, and at the end of the day, we have a child that is well balanced, well nutritionally developed, can excel in school, can be the president of the, of the nation, and does not have any retardation. Thank you so much for staying in tune to the program this week. I remain your host, Dr. Adeola Akonki Odedoi. And to get across to me, you can uh, reach me using my WhatsApp number, 081-758-77125. Again, 081-758-77125. I look forward to discussing with you. Also, you can reach me on my email address, jolade, J-O-L-A-A-D-E-2001 at yahoo.co.uk. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to seeing you same time, same station next week. Thank you and God bless you.